Welcome shave fans for another shave of the day. Today I'm going to be trying some local gent Blackmore. I got the full set uh, in an awesome trade so uh, I helped them design the uh, the cap for the uh, EDT. Mm, it's a really nice blend and uh, I think I'm really gonna enjoy it. Today happens to be uh, well, yesterday was my birthday. It's three o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep, so I got up to shave. What else are you gonna do? All right, the razor that I'll be using is the uh, PAA, PAA uh, elliptic razor, or alpha elliptic. I can't remember what it's called these days. All right, and then the brush today, this is a Rudy Vey. And this is, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is shredded money in there. So this is a shredded money brush. And uh, that's also, that shredded money is also why he does um, smooth lines for this. So there's no, um, you know, like jimping or uh, beading or any of that kind of stuff because it would just uh, make it harder to see that shredded money in there. And then I've got my uh, Plasson fan in there. And uh, this is my personal favorite uh, knot. Uh, it's, it's super duper soft and uh, just a little floppy so that it just whips a lather. The, I find that the easier that the uh, fibers can move, the faster the, the lather and water, the soap and water can mix to create a lather. So. All right, I'm going to take a minute and do some pre-shave with uh, my PA pre-shave soap, and then uh, I'll come back and we'll get started. Oh yeah, this knot, I don't know if you can tell, it's just like instantaneous lather. It just is amazing. So, I love it. All right, the scent's are really starting to come out on this Blackmore soap. All the different layers are nice. I have not tried this uh, elliptic razor before, but my understanding is that um, you pretty much at the right angle when you just set this side against your face so i'll see Huh, that seems to work great. Uh, it should worth noting is that I have a pulse silver in this uh, razor and I've got like three days of growth, three and a half days of growth. So uh, the slant comes in handy for that much growth.
nice and smooth first pass so I'll go ahead and jump on the second now all of a sudden I'm starting to get more uh, sandalwood notes popping up awesome Love it when a scent, you know, builds over time. Oh yeah, two passes. I could use a little bit of cleanup right there, but that's really great. I'm already a damn fine shave. I don't need to chase the baby butt smooth. It'll be awesome. Hmm. Yeah, that scent just building and building and building. The uh, elliptic is a real winner for me, uh, and I'm a little surprised because my other slant that isn't uh, torsional that's just you know a tilted uh, base plate is the uh, icon uh, 102 and uh, I, I just don't like that one it's it's um, just not comfortable for me and I've tried it several several times and uh, just haven't been able to uh, to get it to be that comfortable uh, whereas this one I don't know, was just great maybe it's the blade maybe I need to try the pull silver in the 102 I'll have to see but uh, for now this uh, elliptic uh, just works great absolutely uh, no complaints about it I may have to order one that's not tweaked <laughs> mm. that's really nice okay so now I've got the uh, aftershave that I'm going to put on and I'm not sure if that's a shake but uh, I have just gotten into the habit of always shaking so put a little bit in there mm -hmm. Robert there over at uh, local gent has done an excellent job on this Blackmore blend mmm I really am digging it and to me it definitely is a kind of a cooler weather scent it's got some nice warm notes in there mm. yeah I'm digging it I will uh, wait to try the the EDT um, for when I have some time uh, one cool thing about this this cap is that it can actually we designed it so that you can drill it out and uh, drop a knot in there and create a brush so that will be one of the things that I have to do here when I get a chance sometime and uh, so that the cap is slightly off center there the way he's got it set up and that's how it sits on the bottle right but when you go to to drill it you want to be pretty close to center so you have to probably use a forstner bit and uh, a drill press and uh, hold it real steady take it slow while you go in awesome well i just had an excellent shave i hope you do too <laughs>